talk about it on an intro, but I also don't have all the footage for this because I was stupid and I didn't press record when it continued building after something that I thought I didn't need to record and then I just forgot to record most things that I did after that. So I'm sorry about that. That is also why this video is incredibly short, but also because I decided to kind of split parts of this up because we are doing another animal house um last thing we did was the terrarium and now we are building a house for elephants rhinos and uh what's the last thing um it's not that i don't know the animal it's that i literally just don't know what it's called right now uh hippo that is what i'm looking for so we're gonna do something for the african elephant for probably the big hippo maybe the pygmy i'm not sure and uh the rhino and so the rhino may or may not be the next animal that we've built for trace uh if you haven't checked it out yet there is a um like a document linked in the description of the videos where i sorted my videos for animals and i kind of want to achieve that I've built for every animal. So uh, I am now aware when I do things, when I built for an animal twice. Uh, so the first animal we ever built for twice was the king penguin. So the rhino might be our next, uh, our next, I don't want to say victim, that sounds rude. Just the next one that gets <laughs> two videos. Um, but yeah, so but this one's about the African elephant and we are starting out by building probably the most detailed part of this uh, because we're building like a dry mode and it also has a little flower bed and we're gonna change that around a bit this is inspired by a picture that the comments on pinterest so take it with a grain of salt said this was the artist zoo in amsterdam um i'm not sure it was when i first saw it for some reason i thought of berlin zoo but it, you know <laughs> what do i know uh so um this this is probably the artist who <laughs> just, 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 we're just gonna, you know, believe in the people in the comments on Pinterest for some reason. So, um, that I took great inspiration from. I have a lot of inspiration pages for this specific house. I'm not sure if, uh, I will find places to show them all in this video or if they come up uh, in later stages of the video. There's also, um, one that with the surroundings area <laughs> uh i'll actually talk about it when we get to it um because i think it's only gonna take a few seconds until we are there anyway so why would i describe it if we could just see it um so uh yeah i just okay i knew that i wasn't gonna have a lot of time to talk about stuff in this video so the only thing i want to say is that i just painted my nails and i did like orange pink and purple and like you know like switching the color for each nail you know um so it was done and i was like this looks like dunkin donuts <laughs> which i didn't previously notice but also dunkin donuts doesn't have purple in it i could have sworn dunkin donuts had purple in their logo but i googled it and it's not true okay <laughs> well that story timed perfectly because now we're at the point that i was talking about so these little like uh outside wavy things i'm so mad that i didn't record it because it was actually probably the most interesting part of how i built that um if you can maybe imagine it was made out of the square uh cement blocks that we have uh they come with the base game they come in white um and i love using them for most things uh in whatever i built so uh yeah that's what i use them for they're really good to make like curved shapes and everything so if I, you ever see me do a circle thing chances are that they are made out of uh these blocks <laughs> so uh very sorry that this is not part of the video we're also doing this like weird window thing i don't know how i feel about it yet but you know i don't know i i knew i wanted a window there because behind that there will be the house so you know um but yeah okay so the shape thing um is also inspired oh hold on maybe the thing i'm actually referring to was the one that was an artist zoo i'm not sure i know that from one of the references it says it was the artist zoo now i'm not sure um but anyway, you're going to be able to see if I notice, you know, uh, an origin to them. I might do that. Uh, I might uh, put it on the screen. 
but I don't know if I had right now. Um, but I'm so excited to build this. Uh, this, by the way, because most of the enclosures in this series, in case this is the first one you're watching of this, most of the enclosures in this series aren't what you would call animal friendly today. I do think this is quite all right. <laughs> um, of course you could do things better, but I think, you know, comparing it to the other um, enclosures that we have in this zoo, this is quite all right. Um, so, uh, yeah. I don't know. Also, the, the dry mount is probably the one thing that I would um, critique. Well, it's not the one thing, but it is a thing I would critique about this because uh, the dry mount isn't really safe. It's very easy to reach for the animals over it, which I think is very common in old zoos, especially with elephants, which is dangerous. Elephants can be very dangerous. Um, and if you don't know, it's actually, uh, you know, kind of barely any like contact with the animals for keepers anymore because they can be very dangerous <laughs> so um you know they have a calm demeanor and there's some zoos that still work them in exhibit but a lot of zoos also don't so um you know because they are just very strong and if you don't want to risk that then you know you work through them through like fences and gates and whatnot um and most animals are medically trained anyway so uh, you know, you can do like mandatory health stuff with them through a gate. Um, and so, yeah. Also, look at me placing grass now. I am so proud of myself. I did not overgrow and overclutter this because I know that's not what happens with elephants. It feels weird, but it, I did it, <laughs> uh, which I never do. My, my enclosures are always so overcluttered, uh, not overcluttered, overgrown, which I love but I know that you don't do that with, with elephants. And so, yeah. Um, one thing I had to change uh, later on, which you'll see in the real time part, if you stick around for that, uh, is that I had to drastically change the, size, the sizes of these, like, um, the little, oh God, what are they called? The little uh, door frame <sighs> gates things you know <laughs> those um but the rest of this is basically just cleaning up which is something that i usually cut out but i thought because this is already super short i'm just gonna leave it in give you a little bit of sneak peek behind the scenes show me covering it up with like terrain and rocks and the thing i always do but never show um but yeah it's time for a real time part so see you in a second Honestly, I'm not sure we can do much more than this because look at the people. Um, they're going a bit crazy. So I don't know if we actually, you know, if it's worth our time to put ourselves down as a visitor um, or not, but we can look at it from here. I do quite like, uh, maybe if we change the light a bit, um, I do quite like that when you stand on these like curved pieces of it that you see this like red of the um, bricks against the purple of the flowers. I think that looks quite nice. Um, but, uh, oh my god, I know I have game sounds off, but the people are so loud right now. Um, but yeah, you see some elephants. They don't have the best traversable area right now, but, oh, wait. Um, like could be improved but won't um so yeah i'm planning to build up these walls and this will be an indoor section um and then this will be the rest of the house um but i wanted to go about this not make it super long but instead you know like split it up um into you know different videos to finish this because i'm not I, I don't know i didn't want to you know already like this looks uneven, does it? I I'm not gonna bother with that. I'm gonna be so mad if it is. So um, let's just look at it from here with this beautiful hint of red and purple together uh, and look at this. So um, yes, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope to see you around another time. Bye.